Today I'm finishing up a jazz ensemble project. I'm going to take these parts, most of which have four pages printed on two sheets, and I'm going to tape them together. And there's a right way and a wrong way to tape these, or a best way to do this. So I'll show you uh, the wrong way. The wrong way to do this, or a not so good way to do it is to use scotch tape and simply come along here tape these together and maybe you put a whole strip on here okay not so good because I put the tape on the front side of the paper now when I go to fold this over as you normally would, the inside of the tape, the sticky part, is going to be right here. So if you have a whole strip of that, what you get is a, a sticky kind of feeling along the edge of your page. And it's going to attract dirt and dust and stuff, and it's going to kind of try to peel a little bit too. So the proper way to do this is to tape on the back sides of the folds so that when you fold it, it will come over on itself. So let's go on the back side here. Now I'm going to use scotch tape, even though I said not to, just as a holder. And the reason we don't like to use scotch tape is because it gets brittle in not too long of a time, a couple months, it starts to um, crack and when you bend and unfold these sheets that's gonna crack and then you're gonna have to retape it in a short time but I'm using it here just to hold these pages together where I want them now I'm going to take an art tape I use this in um, painting to mark the ends of the canvases and whatnot but it's it's basically a masking tape I'm going to put that on the end and take it down to here, all the way down to the bottom. So I don't want to have any tape hanging over, so I'm going to trim it, even with the end of the page and trim the top if there's any extra up there. Great. Now when I fold this on the back side of the paper, now the tape side, the paper side, is here and it's not going to be sticky. So I'm going to go to open it up like that. So that's trombone three, trombone four. You need to have a tiny bit of gap between the pages. If you put the pages absolutely flush against each other, um, the fold doesn't come out right. So you need to leave a fraction of an inch, just a little sliver between the two pages to allow the tape to fold well. Another part done.